Uh, your phone. Your phone's ringing. Are you asleep? No, no. I was just... thinking. About what, sir? How's the suspect doing? Still not out yet. It's been three hours, so I'm sure he'll be here soon. But man... Really not gonna answer? I'll call back later. Man, Keith, do you ever answer your calls? Anderson was groaning about it, you know. Wondering what's even the point in calling you. Ah, sir, he's coming out. Uh-oh. What? He's got a woman behind him. I think she came in after. You think she's with him? This isn't good. Won't be able to arrest a guy like this. Let's go. Tell squad B and C. We'll get him in that alley up ahead. Hold on a second, sir! She might be a civilian! We should really wait until he's alone! And are you going to take responsibility if he kills her? Come on. Police tyranny strikes again. The cold, ruthless detective shoots down yet another criminal. Civilian woman forever traumatized. We tried to ask Keith Baring, the detective responsible, to shed us some more light. But he stood at the station entrance, smoking a cigarette, and told us this. The visitor's entrance is that way. Seems that he sees truth seekers like us as unwanted guests. Well. What do you know? Doesn't say a word about the criminal, nor that the woman was a prostitute, or how we took some injuries of our own in the gunfight. Reporters, am I right? <laughs> I can read gossip myself. I don't need you reading it out loud. Keith, you're a real hit with these guys. This is the fourth article by my account. I'm jealous. Just tell me what you called me in for. I've got good news. I'm giving you a vacation. A month, in fact. Not a chance. There's no time to rest. There's too much I need to do. You've got a good lackey, right? Leave it to him. And stretch your wings a bit. Dick, I'm telling you, there's no way. I'm ordering you as your superior. If you don't want to travel, consider it house arrest instead. You aren't fit to bear the brunt of the media. I can handle the rest real well. So, go on. Take a break from the crime scene. Hey. But I didn't say you have to twiddle your thumbs at home for a month, right? Here's a little present. There's this old castle they're promoting as a tourist spot. There's a sort of test run tour two weeks from now. Truth is, me and the wife were gonna go. But I say you do it. How many years has it been for you two? Helena will be ecstatic. Now, put down the gun and the notebook. We'll need them on vacation, right? Go home for today. You can hand over your work tomorrow. Just one thing. Enough of the blaring music. You can hear in the hallway. Welcome home. How was work? Same as usual. You look tired. Are you alright? I'm fine. Oh yes, I get a fantastic present from Mr. Anderson's wife. Look at these, honey. Two invitations. A three-day stay at an old castle. Won't that be wonderful? Dick already told me. He gave me some time off for it too. Well, if you aren't too tired, I'd like to go myself. What do you think? If you're going, then I'm going. I'll tell a travel agent. 
Thanks, honey. I can't wait. I've got some work to take care of. Go to bed without me. Night. Good night. Ah, the bearings? I've been waiting for you. I'm Stevie Small, the tour conductor. I'll be your guide for this tour. Thanks. Now that you two are here, all the attendees are present. Please come aboard. We'll be leaving in roughly 30 minutes. Wow, what a ship! The five-hour trip to the island should go by in no time. I'm going to go introduce myself to the others. What about you? I'll head out later. You go in ahead. Alright. Yeah! Don't just swing the door open like that. Be more careful. Try looking where you're going before you start yelling at people, young lady. Maybe you should look where you're going yourself, old man. Nasty tongue on you, huh? You bet. I was born with it. Hey now, Sophie, what are you doing? This guy almost swung the door right into my face, Papa. You said something rude to him, didn't you? Come now, apologize. But, Papa... Sophie? I'm sorry. I'll be more careful from now on. Old man. Come on, Papa, let's get some ice cream at the lounge. <sighs> my apologies for that. Is she your daughter? Yes, she's my one and only precious. Full of energy, that's for sure. Oh yes, she's very excited for the trip today. I'm glad we could go. Excitement is one thing. We should try to get her to stop yelling at people over a little near collision. If she talked to the wrong guy, it could be trouble. <laughs> You're very right. But I think it's much better than keeping all her dissatisfaction to herself. I'm Richard Grumbler. That was my daughter, Sophie. Glad to meet you. Keith Berry. Did you come alone? No, with my wife. Oh, wonderful. I hope we both have a great trip. Well... Excuse me. Mmm, ice cream. Papa, let me have a bite. Here you are. <laughs> but don't put on too many pounds, all right? I, I can exercise it off. I'm fine. Keith, this is Shirley. Keith, nice to meet you. I'm Shirley Weber. Same. She came here with her husband. Oh yes, where is he now? He told me he went to take a smoke, so he might be up on the deck. Hey, what's with the suit? You're on vacation, you know. Oh, let me guess. You're with the men in black? Sorry, but I don't have sunglasses. Or a neuralizer. <laughs> Too bad. Well, let's enjoy our trip, shall we? Need a light? Thanks. Nice weather today, don't you agree? Sure is. To tell you the truth, it's my first time traveling on a ship, and it's really exciting for me. I'm just glad it's so nice out. Certainly wouldn't be out smoking on the deck here if it were raining. Keith Baring, Detective. David Hoover. Detective, huh? Very cool. I always like to watch those police dramas. But why the suit? 
Old habits. Never been on a ship except for the job. Did you come alone? No, I came with my wife. I was going to invite some friends along, another couple, but the husband ended up in the hospital. Came down with something? He ruined his stomach from eating too many chili dogs. Always been kind of a moron. So I invited another girl and her father. They were always saying they didn't get to go on vacation often. The Grundlers? Right. They were both really pleased. I'm glad I invited them. Too bad about my friends, though. Enjoy yourself in their place, then. <laughs> yep, that's the plan. Keith Baring. Who could have guessed I'd be graced by the presence of the tabloid star? I'm Lance Canal. So what brings you here? Murder on the ship? Or are you gonna cause one yourself, detective? Must have a lot of time on your hands to read all those tabloids. Don't say that. These tabloids who rag on you come from the same publisher I work for. That's all it is. I'm here to take pictures. Heard there was a new tourist trap opening. They invited me here for publicity. Photographer. Don't you worry. I don't take pictures for any of those sleazy magazines. I'm just a photographer for a humble travel magazine. Not like I'm one of those paparazzi guys. Still, don't have to take pictures to get material. I can make some good money passing things on to my gossip writing colleagues. Yeah. Good luck with that. I'll be watching, detective. Oh my gosh! Look at the size of that! It's fantastic! It really is! I can't wait to take a look inside. Man, it's like the kind of place there'd be a murder case on an old cop show. Oh, stop being such an oddball! <laughs> oh, I get it. You're telling us we have to camp out in front for this tour. That's odd. I'm sure I told him when we'd arrive. Hold on a moment. Hello? It's Stevie from N.A. Travel. Hello? Brendan, are you there? Okay, they're here. Is everybody ready? Nigel, your tie's crooked. Fix it. Mitch, your hair's a mess. Matt, your glasses, uh, well, they're still lame. <laughs> right. Time to greet the guests. Welcome, welcome. I've been waiting for you. I'm Brendan Dumont, the proprietor of this castle. Stevie, I thought you'd never come. Thanks for leading them here. And thank you for showing up, Brendan. I was worried you weren't here. Oh, I should introduce the... There's no need, Stevie. I'm already well aware of our guests. Mr. Lance, the Grundlers, Mr. David and Mrs. Shirley, and last but not least, the Bearings. So you came in Santa the Andersons. <laughs> what a delight. Young guy, you take care of this place all by yourself? Yes, that's right. You must be tired from that long boat ride. I'll lead you to your rooms inside. It'll be a while until dinner, so make yourself at home. Keith, look! The view is so wonderful from here. It's like we're back in Europe. You remember when we went to France and you... Shouldn't you answer that? It's Eric, no doubt. I'll call him back later. I wonder what the others are up to. I'll go take a look. Are you coming, honey? Not right now. Later.
Oh, what a surprise. So this is where you were. Sorry for wandering in here. Oh, no, no. I don't mind. Such a large study, isn't it? I used to play hide-and-seek in here as a kid, and my dad always told me off. So many piles of old, precious books, too. Unfortunately, I don't really know how much they're worth. Is that book about the history of the castle? Ah, you've been doing some reading. A very disturbing history, isn't it? The former lord of the castle was quite a tyrant. He severely taxed the islanders, and persecuted anyone who rebelled. There are many odd rooms in this castle, actually. I'm sure they were used for punishment. Eh, but you'll be toured to them tomorrow, so... You said you managed this place yourself. Must be hard. Well, only as of late. I went to film school, actually, and did some work in Hollywood. It wasn't too long ago I returned here. After my parents' death, I inherited the property, you see. Yes, it's a hard job to do alone, especially with all those strange rooms, so I thought I'd promote this place as a tourist destination. I'm not too interested in the castle myself. I'd hate to live out the rest of my days in a deserted place like this. This tour is kind of a test drive, you might say, and CV has been a great help with everything. No need to worry. I'm sure it'll be a hit soon. No, oh, I do hope you're right. Say, Mr. Baring, you're a detective, right? That's so neat. I love police dramas, and I watch Law and Order all the time. Sorry, but it's not a pretty job. Well, in the eyes of an ordinary citizen who blends into the crowd, I think it's swell. <laughs> I'm jealous. Hell, I'm jealous that you own a castle. Let's attract a lot of girls. <laughs> I wish it would. I'd love to meet a wonderful woman like you have. Well, if you'll excuse me. Hey, David, you going to eat your banya cauda? Oh, uh, yeah. Maybe you can have it. Why don't you want it? It's delicious. He won't eat it because he hates anchovies. Really? That's why? That's so cute. I... I mean, it, it smells so raw. And hey, don't call me cute, okay? Cool would be fine. <laughs> Jeez, Helena's laughing too? Cause it's cute, right, Shirley? If we're talking cute, I think that would be you, Missy. Pardon me. You can have the rest of it. You won't be having any more? No. Gosh, Mr. Keith never smiles. What's got him in a tizzy? He's always that way. <laughs> what is he, a robot? <laughs> a robot detective? So he's robot- Ow! Don't be rude. Ah, uh, Robocop. I remember going to see that with my wife back in college. He may be that way now, but he used to be very funny, you know. He was always making me laugh. I told him he should consider being a comedian. Really? I don't believe it. A uh, comedian or not, he's still the laughing stock of some magazines. You know about that, don't you, miss? Keith, jeez, man, why don't you answer your calls? I've been trying all day. What do you need? What do you do with the profiling info for the investigation? It's on your desk. What? It's not there. It's not. It's nowhere. It's completely and totally. Oh, there it is. <sighs> is that what you called 20 times over? I called because you went on vacation without saying a word to me. Tell me before you hand this stuff over. I mean, why in the world would you take a vacation in a hellish time like this? And please, answer your calls. How many times do I have to tell you? Frankly, you should just clean up your desk. Hell, mine too. Papers are going to topple over. They'll start attracting flies. Man, I don't wanna. You do it, Keith. If you don't have it cleaned up once I'm back, I'll burn it all. Oh, there he goes again. Kick the thread in, aren't we, Keithy? Sorry, I'll clean up. You better. So what's the situation over there? Ah, well, you see... Ah, hey! Hey, how's it going? Having a good trip? <sighs> Hand it back to Eric. I don't need you right now. Harsh, harsh. You don't need Eric, neither. All right. 
No, just hang up and enjoy your trip. At least tell me the situation over there. Situation, eh? Got no obligation to tell anyone who's not on the crime scene. Come on, Dick. You gonna ignore your honey again? What, you wanna try and investigate this over the phone? Boy, what's the point of giving you a vacation anyway? I can sleep when I'm dead. I'm just saying, don't stick your neck into this. Plus, Eric's always relied on you too much. Now's the time to whip him into shape. Now, don't call again. Got it? I ain't gonna tell you nothing. Now go to hell. Same to you. So long. Well, did you take some good pictures? Yeah, they're decent. You'll show us more tomorrow, yeah? Is there anywhere that's off limits? I haven't really asked Brendan about that. I'll check with him tomorrow. That one piece looks really good on you. I'm glad I bought it for you. <laughs> this one's my favorite. Since you picked it out, of course. So I said I wanted to see Robocop, but my wife said she wanted to see Platoon. And we fought and fought. In the end, Robocop won, but things were a bit stormy after that. I know how that goes. Shirley and I never want to see the same movies. A lot of the time we come to the theater together, but then go our separate ways. You took your call? Yeah. S sorry for for going back without you. I wanted to take a sh shower. I I'm going to bed now. Good night. Why were you crying? Sit down. I want to talk for a bit. I wanted to tell you this once we got back from this trip, but it's too hard for me. We're at a very important crossroads, a kind of D-Day. D-Day? For a decision, I guess, or a divorce. I've been thinking about it for a long time, but I couldn't say it. You want a divorce? Do you hate me? No, that's not it. No, I couldn't hate you. It's not that. It's not you. It's a problem with me. With you? I'm going to bed. Well, I'll finish this conversation when we get home. Good night. I love you. I told you, if I can just get some juicy tidbits, sales will shoot up for you, my man. Sheesh, didn't I tell you? I can't take photos of people. You can keep your money if you want pics of that rude-ass detective. Oh, yeah, his, his girl's all right. Oh, yeah, she's a good one. Gotta wonder why she's with a snooze fest like him. <laughs> not a bad idea. Oh, I'd love to see him keep his cool even when his girl's taken. We're going to tour the island tomorrow, right? I can't wait. That's right, but you'd better get to bed soon so you can wake up tomorrow, yes? What are you saying, Papa? You gotta enjoy both days and nights on vacation, right? We should talk lots. Why, we already spoke with the others plenty today. 
and I'm sure they're all going to sleep now. Hmm, but I didn't talk to you much, Papa. Come on, let's talk. <laughs> That's my selfish little girl. Hey, Papa, was Mama a good person? Did you and Mama get along like David and Shirley? Oh, absolutely. I've never met a person finer than your mother. You're starting to remind me of her yourself, though you'd need to be a bit more mature. So I can't be childish, huh? Now, Sophie, you can be whatever you want to be. No matter what, you're a precious family to me, a true treasure, and your mother as well, of course. <laughs> Got a text from Paul. Bring back souvenirs, you ass. What's wrong? Doesn't Helena remind you of your mother? Maybe so. There's kind of that air about her now that you mention it. But what's this all of a sudden? Never mind, I just had a thought. You don't look so good. Did something happen? Well, I've never been on a trip like this before. I don't know how I should act. It's different from traveling with friends, isn't it? Hey, just enjoy yourself. You won't have any fun worrying over everything. We'll make some great memories. What about your memories with me? We could always use more. I wonder how many more we need. Why don't we start now? Oh, look at the time. Better get to sleep. Hey, what about making memories? <laughs> hey, David! Stop it! I'm ticklish! Give me a break. Like, that's gonna be a fond memory. <laughs> Good night. Enjoy yourself tomorrow. Night. Somebody put a stop to that asshole's calls. Where's my phone? Helena? So sorry to disturb your slumber, detective, but you know it'd be a waste to sleep on such a wondrous night. Ah, it really is a great set, don't you agree? All it needs is me standing on stage and then perfection. Well, get up there then. How do you do, detective? I am... <clears throat> Excuse me. How do you do, detective? I am the Boogeyman, the organizer of this marvelous game soon to begin.
game. Yes, a very special game for the night of a very joyous trip. Oh, pardon me. Um, let me consult my cheat sheet. Now, let's see here. You're the player and must chase the boogeyman. If you catch him, you win, and that's the happy ending. If you don't catch him, you lose. And what awful bad ending may await you then? So, what do you think of that? You look pretty fast, Mr. Detective, so you might catch me real quick. That'd be pretty boring now, wouldn't it? Ooh, I know. How's this for an idea? How about I kill everyone but you, and you have to stop me? <sighs> Is this stupid prank part of the tour? Halloween's not in a while, you know. Stupid? How dare! You'll see. Oh, you'll see. It'll be the best game you ever did see. Let me guess. Are you nervous? Worry not. I've even prepared a tutorial for you. And now, we're about to have the opening cutscene. Tell me, Detective, are you familiar with the Boogeyman? All the evil and sadness in this world can be blamed on the Boogie. He's always watching from inside your closet. The Boogeyman is the king of evil and terror. Meanwhile, you're a detective, ally to the weak citizens, and because it's you versus me, a simple game this may be, but it's also a battle of good and evil. Such a holy battle needs a spectacular opening, yes? Indeed, sacrificial blood must spill. Brendan. Let him down. This joke is going too far. Joke? <laughs> what a laugh. I'm always deadly serious. Shouldn't you know from experience? People who do things to make you think the words they've gotta be joking are usually very serious. And they're just messed up in here. Right then, detective. The blood of this homely boy should add some nice color to our game. Oh yes, this'll be quite a night. Yeehaw! Now the game begins, detective. Catch me if you can, before more of that lovely blood stains the castle floors. Thank you.